The U.S. is taking a tougher stance on international travel in hopes of controlling coronavirus variants worldwide. It's part of President Biden's new executive orders on the pandemic. We are instituting now a new measure for individuals flying into the United States from other countries. In addition to wearing masks, everyone flying to the United States from another country will need to test before they get on that plane, before they depart, and quarantine when they arrive in America. NBC News correspondent Molly Hunter joins us now from London's Heathrow Airport. So, Molly, what is the reaction in the U.K. over this new order? Hey, Joe, look, I got to say, not much changes if you're a British traveler, a British citizen hoping to go to the U.S. You still can't go. So there was mild jubilation last week when former President Trump suggested that they would lift the ban for European and British travelers. Of course, Bi President Biden's uh, press secretary, Jen Psaki, made it very clear that they were not going to lift that ban. So this new executive order only really applies to people like me, people who can travel uh, from the U.K., for example, to the U.S. Now, the CDC has been recommending this negative PCR test uh, 72 hours before you fly for the last couple of weeks. But, Joe, the quarantine requirement is new. So as an American citizen, of course, living abroad, if I wanted to fly to the U.S., I would have to not only show proof of that negative PCR test and also then, of course, self-isolate on the other side. Yeah, so the U.K. does require passengers to show proof of a negative test in quarantine. How is that requirement going so far and how are public health, health officials enforcing that? Absolutely. So as of a couple of weeks ago, there were a few, more than a few, a handful of European destinations that we could fly to from the UK uh, to and from without having to quarantine on return. That is over. Travel corridors have been canceled. So the UK, like the US right now, anyone coming into the UK has to show proof 72 hours before of a negative PCR test, and they have to quarantine here. The UK government says it's 10 days once you land here. What they do, Joe, is when you land, you fill out something called a passenger locator form, and you give, you know, your address your phone number, your boyfriend's phone number, uh, your roommate's phone number, something to track you, and they will spot check you, and they're getting more rigorous at doing that. So they will call you. They might show up to your door. And if you are not self-isolating like you should be, you will be fine, Joe. For example, if you are not able to produce uh, that proof of a negative PCR test before arrival, the fine is 500 pounds, uh, almost $700. Now, Molly, the U.K. has banned travel from several African countries because of the South African variant. Are British officials considering closing their borders, especially when they have their own variant? I think British officials are, you know, more nervous by the day, and I think it's changing by the day. So absolutely, they've added the DRC in Tanzania to a list that already included 11 other Southern African countries. And Joe, look, as more mutations come up, I think the UK will become even more of an island than it already is. But as you heard from Aaron, and as I'm sure you'll hear uh, from experts throughout the day, the UK variant here, uh, really a huge worry, and the other, the other variants are only compounding that. All right, Molly, thank you so much. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.